Hello everyone, Bionic here. Today I made a function in Astral Client Launcher in the programming language C Sharp. You can download it now in the Discord, it's in the description. All you do is double click the zip, you can drag the folder out, and then you get this. So once you run the launcher, this will show up. I'm just going to go over some of the features really quick. So first we have all the settings. Um, when you launch the launcher, you can either have it hide and your tray down here, close entirely, or just be minimized. For the resolution, this manually changes the Minecraft window size after launch. If you turn it down, you can turn it off or go through a few preset sizes as I set out, or you can enter your own. For the branch, you can choose between release and experimental. The things in release are basically fully done at that point, and the stuff in experimental is for testing, which brings us into themes. This is currently in testing, but as you can see, there's a light mode in progress. It's only on this tab currently, but it will be developed more in the future. And then if you click export config, that saves all your settings, so you don't have to remake them every time you open and close a launcher. For the feed, this just gives basic news. It's nothing super special. In the future, it'll probably be synced to online, so you don't have to download a new version of the launcher every time there's a news update. For the About tab, this is just a simple description and a few pieces of information, such as the, the launcher version, the client version, and it also displays your current Minecraft version when you launch the program. And finally, for Mumble Link, this was shown off in the trailer. However, it was not actually real, it was just an overlay. However, you can still download an MC pack if you want to use the effect in game for some reason. I left that here. This will automatically download and launch your game. And then if you go into the experimental branch, you can also go into the dev menu. You can use this to modify the exact position of your Minecraft window. Or you can also select your own DLL files if you want to use any other clients. I did build Helix client into this, but I did leave this in as a experimental thing at the moment if you do want to use Fate, Plasmic, etc. And then we also have version switcher. I can demonstrate that here. Let's say I want to go back to 0.15.10. That will just download here. And then from here, you can either reinstall it if something went wrong or you close the launcher in the middle of the process. You can always uninstall it and it uninstalls really quickly, or you can launch it, which is what we'll do now. And it'll say, likely, a newer version of Minecraft beta is already installed. You just have to click reinstall once, reinstall. Also, make sure that you have Minecraft Bedrock Edition installed from the Play Store and not another Apex file, or Mr. Arms launcher, or anything, or, or else this will not work. After that, you can close the pop-up window, and then just click on Minecraft, and as you can see, we're now in the old version of the game. And Xbox sign-in works, obviously. Then if you want to update back up, you can always just use the Microsoft Store. Or you can uninstall this, reinstall the latest one, which I will do my best to frequently update, and go from there. So other than that, if you want to access the internal files, all you have to do is go to your C drive, go to the temp folder, project start, and you can see everything. This folder saves your settings, this will be for cosmetics if they ever come out. This is where the DLLs are stored. This is for MC packs such as the Mumble Link one. This will be for the profile switcher that I'm going to be trying to make soon. And then this is for the versions that are installed. 
You can also inject Helix client. If you launch with this launcher, the inject button will appear afterwards and it'll say that Helix is only for version 0.201. I will do my best to add the 0.40 DLL soon. I was just having a little trouble with that. But once you click inject, we can go into a world. And as you can see, Helix is injected. So that's about it for today's video. If you liked the Astral Launcher concept, feel free to give suggestions for what you would like next. Also, um, I made this mainly because of the recent accusations for stealing accounts and also mainly because Astral Client hasn't released anything in about half a year, I guess. So I felt like it was mainly time to get something out to the public. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later.